Welcome back to XRP Vault. There has never been anything like this in US history. We're talking about XRP and Ripple, the case of the century. The outcome of this litigation is going to be really intriguing. Additionally, there are various speculations that JP Morgan was the driving force behind the case against Ripple. We have a lot to cover, and the BRICS countries are actively opposing the US dollar and utterly avoiding them. We have intriguing developments regarding the Shiba Inu, which is also interesting, as well as possibly how much Elon Musk actually owns. We're going to talk about that now, and Casper is actually acting very kind today. So stay tuned while we go through everything. The video's conclusion is important. Let's get right to it. A huge thank you to each and every one of you for subscribing to the channel. I'm incredibly grateful for it. I sincerely appreciate it. As you can see right here, I love documenting my journey with investing in cryptos dividend stocks, growth stocks, discussing passive income, and constructing financial freedom. So, if you're new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button down there and turn on that little bell notification as well. And of course, my ultimate objective is to create generational riches so that I can embark on this amazing journey at a time when things are already out of control. Additionally, if you could give this video a thumbs up and watch it all the way through, it would really help me promote this channel to a lot more people. When you find these guys, the YouTube algorithm works like magic. Therefore, be sure to give it the old thumbs up as doing so won't cost you anything. Down there it is. Thank you very much, you guys are awesome. Just to be clear, I'm not a financial advisor. Do your own investigation and due diligence with this information, please. I do not wish for anyone to suffer financial hardship. Because of this, my top rule is to never invest more money than you can afford to lose. And while we do not enjoy losing money, it is possible to do so quickly when investing in cryptocurrencies or in general, so please use caution. This movie is only intended for educational and entertainment reasons. Please conduct your own research and due diligence. Now that the preliminaries are over, ladies and gentlemen, let's get started. There is a lot going on right now. However, the XRP Ripple, Triangular, and Ripple on Demand liquidity of Pantera are now attractive. It simply goes to show that lawsuits won't stop Ripple, which is absurd, since a leading cross-border payments provider has announced the launch of an instant single Euro payments area SEPA solution intended to facilitate lightning fast separate payouts in Europe. Moving on, these were the most valuable old coins in my portfolio. KIN was up 21.76%, and Ubix Network was a treasure I invested in years ago. We have reserve rights, and that's up $20.27. Right after that, today's Harmony One, which is unquestionably a low gem and, in my opinion, an old coin gem. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, this airdrop is happening once more. So pay attention to this one. You must have had it essentially on March 24th in order to be eligible if you are holding XRP solo. Therefore, if you bought XRP after that date, you won't be eligible. And when you think about it, it's really simply free money. Therefore, when it comes to what often occurs, either you will store the token or you will sell it when you receive the airdrop and use the proceeds to invest in any other asset. However, let's move on and head to the coin location. Please feel free to use the referral link below if you are new to Cryptus in Australia. This is where I purchased my Cryptus in that country. Naturally, all of the prices you see here are in Australian dollars. However, everything else is set to US dollars because I am a global retailer. Let's review the prices straight away. However, I did mention in my video from yesterday that these prices would increase once more. Therefore, if you had purchased last night based on my prior video, you would have made an amazing profit of 3.24%. This is not financial advice. However, Bitcoin, which is currently around 42,000 ATR, is up 6.35%. Last night, I opened a trade in the Patreon, which is linked below, and I used my fantastic indicators, which resulted in an insane 69% profit. The Patreon link below shows that the indicators are active and that the price of XRP today in Australian dollars is $2,914, up 3%, which is still terribly low. It's incredible. 
You know, I keep repeating this, but look at the price of Ethereum in the coin market cap. Six years ago, the price of XRP was an absurd 97 cents. Sincerity be damned, this is going to go completely parabolic once this litigation is completed. It receives the clarification it requires, and it is definitely deemed not a security. It is enormous, 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 enormous right now 8860 Santiago Doge at 14 cents, down 5%. I warned individuals who were purchasing yesterday to exercise caution because the price will eventually decrease. That's exactly how things develop naturally. People like to short cryptocurrencies, and when Musk writes about Dogecoin, they are definitely long Musk. Many people short it when it simply goes parabolic because they know he will eventually come back down. Nevertheless, Maddox $1.76 Solana at 4.34% $32.UGOT.89 Chain Link $11 which is good XLM as well. 16 cents. What do we have here? At Dose are progressing wonderfully, up to 3.8. I was looking at acquiring and adding one to the portfolio at 84% to $17 had Dara at 10 cents. We'll have to wait and see. Up. The story for Web3 and AI hasn't quite gotten as tense as it once was, has it? 8.33% to $1.91 all goes at 33 cents. ICP is also doing well and 7.7 .7 to the graph is doing well, too. Quite fascinating. Fader $1.69 you have CFX1, which I recently added to the portfolio and is currently trading at 57 cents. With Xfinity $13, which I am staking on CoinSpot, you are earning 45% APY, or annual percentage yield, and getting paid out in cryptocurrency. As a result, you are generating a good passive income each and every day. I can't really gripe about that. Moving down NEOS at $18 Chili's at 0.54% today up 19 cents my bottom is ridiculous with that one guy on Patreon and of course IOTA is at 34 cents which is nice XDC at 6 cents which is good render is up 5.92% and this one here ladies and gentlemen Casper look at that 11.57% up today to 6 cents now I'm very bullish on Casper and that's making some moves which is really good now. Let's talk about crypto bubbles. Yes, I have a link to the Wall Street Bull University's Patreon page below. I post my buyers, souls, trades, cryptocurrency trading bots, and trading techniques there. I also do films there because I recently updated the platform, which is amazing because it allows me to produce videos while I'm on the road. I also list my dividend investments that produce cash flow. I enjoy including my dollar cost averaging investments as well as the fantastic dividends that I receive each month. The following URL. The URL is below, ladies and gentlemen, go check it out. I also enjoy communicating with everyone there directly through the DMS, which is much simpler for me and superior than Discord because it hosts far too many users at once. There are typically 14,000 or more. This community is aggressive in every way. That day, the greatest gainers are right here. An icon is insanely up 46% on the day, 125 on the week, and 108 on the month. Plus 46 cents USD Lotto Dow. It is currently $2.78 a coin, which is noteworthy. The percentages are 15.9% on the date, 19.3% on the week, and 6.1% on the month. I was considering trading that once more but I'll wait and see how it goes before posting it on Patreon. Casper, it's good to see that the price is up 11% today, 15 cents for the week, and 3.6 for the month. It truly is a jewel, just like STC, and there is a lot going on with it. The quantum financial system, also known as the QF system, which is being built by Andy Scott in collaboration with Google, and of course, IBM, is up 8.6% on the day and 2.9% on the week. There is a lot going on with arbitrage right now. I'll go into more detail in a whole video that I'll make on this. We'll check it out on coinmarketcap.com. See the tokenomics in action right there. However, there are still fantastic purchasing possibilities. According to JP Morgan, the banking crisis is still ongoing. This is fascinating right now. This is bad. 
What is taking place in America? Within the banks? It's terrible. And according to my estimation, there are currently more than 200 insolvent U.S. institutions. Additionally, the U.S. government will be pumping out $2 trillion, which is insane. However, Jamie Dimon just stated in the annual letter to shareholders that the banking crisis is still ongoing. Furthermore, noting that even once it is ended, there will undoubtedly be repercussions for years to come. Lockdowns and the general public's ignorance about the government's practice of creating trillions of dollars are to blame for this. What do you anticipate happening? The pronouncements, however, were delivered in the wake of the recent bankruptcies of Silicon Valley Bank, Signature Bank, and Credit Suisse. The latter, on the other hand, marks the biggest bank failures in the U.S. since 2008. Lehman Brothers' collapse during the global financial crisis was caused by mortgage-backed securities, which had already completely depreciated in value. Interesting information, but I wouldn't be shocked if the J.P. Morgan-influenced Ripple Law lawsuit caused the SEC to delay the Freedom of Information Act request. So, in the beginning of August of last year, a member of the XRP community made a Freedom of Information Act request. Regarding communications concerning Ripple Labs and XRP between the SEC and the powerful banking institution J.P. Morgan, it was a very long time ago. Ashley Prosper revealed that the request is still being delayed in a fresh update. Naturally, it will succeed in its efforts to make public any SEC conversations with J.P. Morgan regarding Ripple and XRP. According to the most recent answer letter, the SEC has just received the search results and is currently analyzing them. Then the agency's email rates take a look at this. It appears that there are a lot of records that need to be traded in confidence. Our initial analysis of the data indicates that a significant number of them will necessitate using the CT substantiation process. It's interesting since it involves records whose confidentiality was requested at the time they were submitted. This kind of engagement will extend the review period by about 60 days. It's been more than 60 days, after all. August of the previous year. That is completely absurd. However, did J.P. Morgan have any impact on the SSEV, Ripple lawsuit? I wouldn't be surprised, but Prosper claimed that he made a FOI FOIA request because of communications between the SEC and J.P. Morgan that directly caused the company's lawsuit against Ripple Labs in December 2020. The article in question was published on the Blue Sky blog and discussed Jamie Dimon's CEO donations in relation to the SEC enforcement. Anyway, Q, a really interesting read. How much money, then, did J.P. Morgan and Jamie Dimon give to the SEC? My subsequent FOIA request at the time provided more information about how the lawsuit has cost billions of dollars to thousands of XRP holders. Additionally, the SEC claims that communications are of significant public interest, as observed in various contexts by Sarah Judge Snippet and Judge Torres so that the public can better understand how private companies influence the SEC and its staff, the XRP Army member is demanding that information be released without charge. Until recently, Prosper assumed that the release of documents related to J.P. Morgan, Ripple, and XRP could occur in late March possibly because Judge Torres has not yet issued the ruling. The records seem to be covered by secrecy laws. And once more, it would be extremely fascinating to see if the SEC has been persuaded by J.P. Morgan, which wouldn't surprise me given that they are once again attempting to participate in the cross-border payments phenomenon. Now that Jim Cramer has commented on the litigation between Ripple and the SEC, XRP has fallen significantly. A week ago. After a solid week of gains, the Securities and Exchange Commission may even prevail in its lawsuit against Ripple, according to Jim Cramer host of CNBC. The moment Kramer's video became viral, the XRP cryptocurrency plummeted by 3%. I don't even care what he has to say because I act in the exact opposite way. Whatever he says if he says by sell if he says sell by pretty much, according to inverse Kramer. That's all Kramer had to say in response to Johnny DT and his thoughts on the fluctuations of XRP in the crypto markets at the present. On March 30th, a tweet was sent asking the host to resume labeling a token a fraud. When Jim Cramer predicted that Ripple may win, the price of XRP stopped rising and made a 180-degree turn. Jimmy Chu, could you phone it again and report the scam? 
He just tweeted about a bank stock he's looking at earlier this morning, and I think the stock will now crash anyhow since this always occurs. Relocating on. Since I've been quite bullish on Solana for a while, Solana's price is predicted to rise when $500 million worth of trading activity flows in. Additionally, a substantial upward trend can be seen in the SOL token, which drives the Solana smart contracts ecosystem, which is currently trading at $20 and 1. 60% above its lowest price since 2022 and 30% above its March 2023 lows. And the Solana price exhibits tenacity, indicating a forthcoming rally. Since the fall of FTX, I've been wishing to dollar cost average more in Solana. I'm glad I bought it because I am now up on my investment. I'm delighted I did because my investment is doing well. I'm now pretty positive on it. Ralph Lauren is one of my favorite brands, and I adore this company and their bomber jackets, which are awesome, but the brand has joined the crypto revolution, with the exception of those made in the new Miami store, and ICE is out. As a result, Ralph Lauren is making waves in the crypto scene by accepting a variety of cryptocurrencies at this chic, trendy Miami district store, which celebrates South Florida's vibrant culture. As the first store to accept cryptocurrency payments, this is a significant milestone for the business. The basic Ralph Lauren is also accepting Dogecoin, a Shiba Inu, which is also interesting, as well as other cryptos like a coin I don't know why the hell anyone would use that. By partnering with BitPay, a leading crypto payments store, shoppers can use popular coins like Bitcoin, Ethereum, right here, Polygon Matic, and but doesn't list in the near future. The only things I would use to make purchases in general are stable currencies such as USDT and USDC, as well as Bitcoin Cash Die Euro Coin, Gemini Dollar Litecoin Packets USDC, and Raft Bitcoin. Even though it's equivalent to the US dollar, I wouldn't recommend adopting Bitcoin because an item costing $100 or $200 today might be worth more in the future when Bitcoin rises to $250 or even $1 million. In essence, there was the Kindle the guy purchased from Amazon for, say, 160 Bitcoin or something similar. Anyway, the final cost ended up being roughly $160,000 at the time, which is absurd. I therefore don't use that. Of course, there is a Forbes article about how Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies are suddenly bracing for a $1 billion US earthquake due to the price spike of Ethereum, BNB, XRP, and Cardano. Doge and Arbitron are currently the greatest cryptocurrencies according to prominent crypto trader, yet I don't hold any of them. This is just the beginning of the bull market. Things are going to get completely crazy. If you do, let me know in the remarks section here, but I do hold dosage. Anyway. In essence, you have a well-known crypto trader and the creator of the venture capital business mechanism cap. Andrew King hasn't shied away from engaging in conversation. He recently shared his opinions with the crypto community about the possibility of an altcoin boom. Dojo has, undoubtedly, been performing exceptionally well, and whales are currently buying up the principle of arbitrage. Having said that, the investor thinks the altcoin season is about to start. Yes, and it will only be among the best of them, as he can only name three cryptocurrencies at this time, Ethereum, Dogecoin DOS, and arbitrarily. While the first cryptocurrency is understandable given its position in the cryptocurrency market, the investor's choice of the latter two tokens is quite perplexing. However, putting aside all current disagreements between them, it is clear that these are currently the two antique coins that are most frequently debated. Buying and selling news is essentially what most people do, so keep a watch on those two cryptos. I'm also considering include arbitrary optimism and DYDX in the portfolio. You know, just keeping it in mind as Shimon know, that's a part of the new upgrade with Ethereum. How many tokens Elon Musk needs to get rid of is an intriguing question at the moment. The CEO of Twitter must decide whether to switch the famous social media giant bird logo to the most popular cryptocurrency Dogecoin or to DOE spike 30% off the logo change, which will increase the joke currency to over 10 cents. On the other hand, following the development, its rival, Shiba Inu, increased by 5%, and both coins are generating bullish mood. Early in 2021, Musk declared that he had invested in Dogecoin, 
But how many shares or tokens does he actually own? Let me just scroll down to the section we've highlighted in this article. The three cryptocurrencies that Musk owns in his portfolio are Bitcoin, Ethereum, and Dogecoin. Musk must reaffirm that he does not own any additional cryptocurrencies. Self proclaimed that Doge father publicly disclosed during the B Word conference last year that he owns three different cryptocurrencies. It basically goes on from there. But Musk does not own the program, despite the fact that you were aware of this and verified it by responding to a Shiba investor's inquiry on Twitter about when she'd be in and nearly achieved its all time high in October. How many sheep is Musk owning? A sheep investor inquired. The billionaire businessman responded with none admitting that he does not own any shares, but you already knew about tokens, so I'm not too concerned about that. I mean, the entire process was shaving. Making money was only for me, anyway. It has only ever been about that. And thanks to all the chaos caused by, for example, the founders of Shiva Inner giving half of it to Vitalik Thing, which was going parabolic at the time, as well as Dogecoin, I've made some pretty insane gains. I'm still holding a respectable amount of my holdings, which is nice because cryptocurrency has made its own let's take a quick look at this ladies and gentlemen, let's see where the money's been flowing. We have a theory of Monero, sorry ARB, right here, Dosmatic, you have a VX right here, a new protocol called Curve Tau, and Bitcoin, which is always present. Bitcoin is constantly being purchased. Go to Twitter now. Look about here, ladies and gentlemen. I'm at the Bull Oz on Wall Street. Go there and follow me. When I reach 100,000 YouTube subscribers, I'll give away this bull ring made of real silver. As we move down, Goldman Sachs was only fined $3 million for inadvertently making short sales as long as it permitted the company to sell millions of shares of stock short during a three-year period when short sales circuit breakers were in operation. And then FINRA, profits, and the government breached the law imposes a $3 million fine and keeps $1.1 million for itself as a consolation prize. It does, of course. If this were a cryptocurrency startup, it would currently be covered extensively in the media. However, this is intriguing. President Trump. I've watched the news conference on Fox News previously. It was broadcast in Australia's mainstream media all morning. Obviously, you know he traveled from New York to mar lago and have heard his frank remarks on the U.S. dollar. Our currency is in freefall and won't be the global standard for much longer. There will be no defeat, which will be our biggest setback in 200 years. That will prevent us from ever becoming a major power. Well, considering that Saudi Arabia and Russia are actively pursuing interests outside of the United States, I suppose a lot is happening with BRICS. Watch out for that as well. You won't believe the bank stock I mentioned tonight in a favorable light. What will occur with that stock? I'm not sure. Watch out for mad money. Please explain what he's referring to in the comments section. The new rule is that. There is a Dogecoin logo for Twitter. Right here, Bitcoin is hilarious. Inu Shiba. Ralph Lauren now accepts Ethereum. I adore it. There is, of course. A fascinating interview with Johnny Deaton here. Play This is the Case of the Century and listen to this legend discuss XRP, please. Oh my, who is considering this? Why has she not yet ruled? I seriously doubt that Judge Torres has ever experienced the stress she is presently going through. Ripple is conveying the message. Hey judge, look what the judge. And look what this Judge Gorsuch at the Supreme Court said about fair notice according to Voyager. After she receives further knowledge, all of these things take place. The CFTC and SEC are also being scrutinized by Nance, and all of this activity is taking place in the background, despite the claims of people like me that she will provide regulatory clarity. You believe she is unaware of this because you made the decision regarding the library. Therefore, this is the biggest decision that this judge has ever had to make. Consider this. In terms of international trade and finance, what other choice in modern history is as significant as this one? I've previously stated that this case represents the most serious SEC enforcement action involving non-fraud since 1946. I truly don't blame Judge Torres for being very careful about how she worded this judgment because of that kind of pressure. 
because she is aware that a conservative court will hear the case if it goes against Ripple. Additionally, if it is for Ripple, she must provide all necessary justifications. Be patient, then. The end is almost here. Everyone have a wonderful evening. I'll see you then. Mr. Johnny Dayton Legend Night Nevertheless, the fear and greed index is at 62, which is quite positive. We're still in the greed stage right now. Do Kwan might be sentenced to 40 years in South Korea and 100 years in the U.S. He won't be released from custody, that much is certain. The top performing asset was Bitcoin, and in the optimistic first quarter of 2023, Credit Suisse released its results at the 2023 annual general meeting. Currently, the CEO of the company had to apologize to the company's shareholders, which is intense and fascinating. But since the Bitcoin sign guy's photobomb of Janet Yellen, the price of Bitcoin has increased by 1,000%. Is this really true? I'm not sure. Actually, I'm not sure if it's true or not. But really, in my perspective, she's an extraterrestrial. She is that tiny obligation men in black, I'm sorry. Anyhow, and of course this is full on, but after his arrest, Donald Trump's NFT sales increased by an absurd 51%. And sure, every morning I watched the closing bell on CNBC because I was awake at 530 in the morning, but I was always optimistic about that. The banking crisis, according to Jamie Dimon, CEO of JP Morgan, is still ongoing. And I'm wondering what will happen because I believe many individuals will go into cryptocurrencies. In my opinion, this is a fact. Anyway, let's move on to coin market cap before we wrap up. Dollar one, two trillion in US currency. We are growing our volume by $44 billion and currently have 23,198 cryptocurrencies, which is ridiculous. The top gainers in my portfolio are the Casperkin Reserve REITs which are good Ubix anchors, Nexara, and Super Farms. My money is flowing to the banking coins, ladies and gents. I won't go through each one in detail. But XRP is my top pick. Okay, I believe this will be the altcoin that performs the best in 2023. It will be completely parabolic. We eagerly anticipate it. And we'll keep you guys updated on everything. Alright, I'm leaving. I sincerely appreciate it. I'll talk to everyone in the comments, under the community tab, and at the Patreon join up link below because my bots are now performing exceptionally well. One cannot grumble about that. Literally improving. Who doesn't enjoy gaining ground? It is unquestionably bullish. I'm just bringing them up on my screen, ladies and gentlemen. Let's look at it. Your top performer on the box was Chili's, who scored 484% and I recently started a new one with Casper. That is all, ladies and gentlemen. That is already up, and I think I started it about five minutes ago. That is indeed my daughter. How adorable. Many thanks, gentlemen. Tomorrow, I'll talk to everyone. Take a bow. Bye.